Aquatic and Theme Park. Yes. Okay, so Steel Force, what do you think? Uh, I didn't feel much on it, actually. Like, it had good air time, but I didn't get the butterflies. And I was a little bummed about that, because I thought it was going to be like a Bank of Mexico 200 kind of experience, where I was terrified the whole time, but it was not. I thought it was fine. I mean, it's I experienced some air time, too. We were we actually got a Zen ride on it, which is neat. But yeah, it was, it was fine. There were some nice, fast moments, but other than that, it wasn't really anything like crazy. Alright, so uh, Trimber Hall. Yeah, there was a lot of friends on that. That was a little surprising. I mean, a little rough. My uh, lap bar kept coming down in the middle of the ride and I kind of couldn't escape from Japan. It was, it was fine. A little bit rattly, but I yeah. think it was a smart move not sitting in the very, very front. I think it would have been worse up there. Yeah, we were babies. We chose row two. <laughs> not a wheel seat. Short layout. Trimmed at the top of every hill. Here is the site of the future Iron Venice. The Giga Kurt Flower Dive Coaster. Uh, 
I think I called it something like and theme park on the way in and I still stand by that statement. It's not bad. The rides are fine. Um, it definitely is going to benefit a lot from Iron Menace, but uh, right now as things stand, it's inoffensive. Some of the wait times were not great. The prices, as you can kind of expect at most theme parks, are pretty bad. Uh, $42 for lunch for two people is kind of crazy. It's an interesting park. There is a lot of good about it. It sits right about the middle for me. What about you? Yeah, I'd say about the same. Yeah. Nothing wrong with it overall. It was entertaining. I think that's why it exists. Yeah. All right, well, we'll catch you later.